So I just wanted to make a video talking about these headphones, the DT990 250 ohm. Again, I really like the smooth, clean sound of these headphones. They don't have any weird, fatiguing, bad frequencies that stick out. And one of the most impressive things about these headphones is they have a bass boost around 100 hertz. And uh, again, there's definitely headphones out there that have more bass emphasis, like the DT770 80 ohms. Um, but it's always, you know, I've been using these for like, what, a week or two now? And, you know, I'm just watching like YouTube videos and stuff and like every now and then, you know, some music will happen. And I'm just still baffled and, and impressed when that bass kicks in and like I just feel the bass and I'm like, whoa, these have bass, you know. Um, so it's really neat, uh, these headphones. Like, you know, I've used so many headphones that don't have a bass boost and actually roll off the bass around 100 hertz. And um, I'm just continually impressed by the clarity, the smoothness, the transparency, the articulation. And then, you know, every now and then when, like, I watch a YouTube video that has some intro music or something, and that bass kicks in, and it's just like, boom, 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 you know. I'm like, whoa, I'm hearing the bass, you know. I'm getting that bass that uh, a lot of headphones don't offer. And it's you know, it's kind of surprising, you know, every time it happens, I'm like, whoa, that bass is kicking in, you know? So that's the main thing I wanted to say about these headphones. Um, again, there's a lot of headphones that don't emphasize the bass, and there's a lot of headphones that do. And it's neat when that bass kicks in, and you realize your headphones support the bass and emphasize it to a reasonable degree. And you know, some of these headphones that I've used lately, especially the DT770 80 ohms, they, they feel like they have so much power. It's almost like you're you're listening to headphones that are powered. You know, you, you feel like they're plugged into an electrical outlet or something like, how are these headphones able to have so much clarity and bass and energy and excitement and, and power, you know, without being like plugged into an electrical outlet? Like, how is this, you know, cable, you know, from you know, connected to a fucking headphone jack capable of delivering such powerful sub bass and clarity in the treble. I find it personally very impressive that headphones don't need a electrical outlet to provide you sub bass. You know, you know, typically studio monitors, I mean, you got to get these really big studio monitors, uh, you know, with huge, you know, like, I don't know, you know, woofers and shit. And, you know, so many people have to get, like, subwoofers and shit to, to get that 100 hertz bass boost. And, you know, especially sub bass below 100 hertz. When a lot of these headphones provide it, no problem. It's kind of like, holy shit, you know, super clarity, super deep bass. Again, you know, there's some headphones that have better sub bass than these because these are open back. But when that bass kicks in and you can hear it and you can even hear some sub bass with these, it's like, whoa. You know, these are open back. You know, so many people like open backs can't, you know, reach that far into the base. Bitch, please. I mean, these these can do it. <laughs> these these are nice. I like them. So there's so many, you know, stereotypical things. Oh, open backs can't support the base. Yeah, they can, bitch. Yeah, they can. Okay? <laughs> Look at the frequency response. These reach deep into the base. And they emphasize it, too. Unlike those stupid Sennheiser 600s and the AKG K700s. Anyway, K701s, K702s, you know, HD 600s, 650s. They can't, they can't do what these can do. No, they can't. They don't even have the treble. They have a veiled treble. How pathetic. <laughs>